So these are always fun. Uh, if you can see it, the glare, not much communicating, but from the instrument cluster, that is the master or gateway for your KCAN communication. K bus, yada yada yada. So again, there's no topology on this one, but as you see, there's nothing communicating. So what you want to do, BMW was smart about this one. I don't know why they didn't keep this up in the next generation of vehicles when they got to the F chassis, but here's this up under the dash. The E46, this is E46 essentially, but they call it E85, 86, whatever, but the Z4, E46 platform. Um, the, Z, the E46 car will be up here, this piece here, but you're gonna locate this in this box here, and uh, there's your white, red, yellow, whatever. This should have source voltage. They got five volts, so damn mosquito in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove them one at a time until I get my voltage restored and uh, see where it's at. My money's on the light switch, but we'll see. So let me show you what I got. I got to the second one and that's the voltage came back. So we're good source voltage. All I'm going to do is just touch this one here and look at that. Just touching it. I remove it. As simple as that. So what that did for me is that allowed me to get communication now on these components. And again, uh, it's going to go through. I made the mistake of backing out. That's not going to communicate. I'm going to get communication back. Let me just show you one of the symptoms of that. Let me just bring this back. It's going to mess me up in other ways, but let me just show you. Turn signal is down, so you just could, you couldn't see anything with regards to this. So let me then now remove that. And now you can hear the cluster. You see the brights. So that's going to be an indication that your your K bus is down. This gentleman actually, because uh, it also took out the IHKA. This gentleman jumped a wire to the compressor to turn it on and guess what happened yeah he blew a hose it couldn't control the pressure so the, who knows what else is going on with this car but don't jump wires don't jump circuits unless you know exactly what you're doing so anyway I gotta pull this console. It could be anything associated with that gateway module because again I don't have the um, I don't have, I'm not going to have any communication as we get down here with these, these satellites. And again, that's going to come out of that information module. So again, it could be any of these uh, airbag units, but we're going to start with the uh, information module, safety information module. And what I can do is then I can go from that harness, I can measure the resistance to each of these airbags. And we should be somewhere around two ohms each. If I find like uh, no resistance, high resistance, any, you know, any of those, likely the, the no resistance would be shorting. So that could be our problem, but uh, that's where I got to start. So hope this has helped somebody out. So I pulled this apart. There's the problem. It's right there. Corrosion all day long. So he's going to have to, again, this is another shop, clean that up. Can't really see it very well. Clean that module up. Your, your bite flight that looks good but yeah there it is it's as simple as that you got moisture in there who knows where this car came from but uh, that's that I hope that helps y'all out um, go to the, the bus where they're all attached together isolate and uh, get it coming uh, these cars this is this car's almost 20 years old it's an 05 uh, these are still a challenge to diagnose if you don't have product knowledge, you don't know where to start. Um, so again, uh, hone your diagnostic skills. I still believe that uh, a technician, mechanic uh, job is, is the way to go. There's a lot of money to be made, but you've got to apply yourself. Avoid chasing gravy and being somebody that wants to make money off of brakes and oil changes and all the easy stuff. That's a short term mentality.
think long term, if you can diagnose and you can fix these cars, you're gonna have other shops calling you, hey, come fix my stuff. And that's what's up and that's where it's at. So now I get paid.